Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. In this episode I will show you how to make your own pallets for Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now, you may be wondering what is a pallet. Um, a pallet is actually just a selection of colors that you tell the game to use. You may have already uh, used this without knowing it, uh, because what you do when you change the watercolor in a map is that you actually uh, change to a new palette. Now there's some really cool stuff you can do with uh, other palettes. Uh, for example, uh, I made this tropical map. Uh, I want to make everything look a bit brighter. Well then, I can just uh, select another palette. Let's take uh, the Coaster Heaven palette that uh, I took from another park. Uh, you actually have to load it twice, but I'm sure this is something that will be uh, fixed soon in Open Rollercoaster Coaster Tycoon 2. And here you see it. Everything now just looks a lot brighter. And the uh, brown colors look a lot more pleasant to look at. Now, this isn't the only thing you can do with, uh, with uh, palettes. So let's go check out some other parks from other people that uh, used palettes to a uh, great effect. There we go. Um, I took these parks from uh, nedesigns.com. I'll leave a link to them in the description so you can go check them out. Uh, first up, let's go check Asteroid Field. Now, this is a park that obviously uh, takes place in space. Uh, and one real cool thing with it with uh, palettes is to so look at the peeps here. You can see that they actually have green faces and green limbs. So this is one really cool trick you can do with uh, palettes. Uh, a side effect of this is that uh, you can see in the interface which normally items which normally have skin color and have also turned green. As you see it here. And also for your uh, employees, your park staff. That is because the interface also takes its color from, uh, from your palette. Now let's go check some other parks as well. Now, here we have a park called uh, Megdlan. Here you can see the colors also seem uh, a bit duller. And here you can see the peeps actually have white faces, probably because they're supposed to be dead. Let's see what the palette is called. You can see it here in water types. Yeah, the palette of the dead. Alright, then I have one more park to show. This is a park that takes place in rural England. Um, so as you can see in the interface, all the colors are so, sort of uh, dulled out. When I want to recolor this, you can actually see that there's different colors than uh, what you would normally see. For example, this one says bright purple, but it's actually sort of uh, a reddish brown color. Uh, dark purple and light purple have a much different shade than what we normally have. Alright, now that you've seen these parks, let's uh, let's see how we create our own palette. Um, to create your own palette, you have to use a tool called RCT2 Palette Maker. I'll show you where to find it. Uh, you can find it on openrogerstech2.org slash forums. And when you go to guides, tips and tricks, then you will find a guide how to make your own palette for RCT2. Well, in this guide, you can uh, everything that I'm telling you now is also written down, so you can uh, read everything at your own pace if you so desire. 
Anyway, here you can find a link to the zipped application. It's made by a guy named JA227. So let's download it. Oh, I already downloaded it, of course. So here we find the zipped file. Let's uh, extract it here. Extract. And here you see the folder. Uh, in this folder, you will find several uh, bitmap images. Um, what, water cyan is the palette uh, normally used by the by the game. So let's open it. Um, I'm using Paint.net because uh, it's my favorite uh, image editing software. Um, any editing software that can that can work with uh, bitmap files can be used. But I just like this one because it's uh, easy to use effects and it's free. All right, now let's zoom in. The palette is actually a really small uh, image and every pixel represents a color the game will use. For example, this is the range that, that's used by uh, black, gray and white objects. Uh, this here is the range used by uh, orange uh, colored objects. This is the range for red objects and so on. And this area here in the bottom is uh, used for coloring water. So, for example, uh, one of the one of the water colors that you can use in the game is uh, orange water. Um, in that uh, object, only this only this part of the palette uh, is actually changed. Now, the color that's used for to color the peeps is actually uh, in this range. So. For example, uh, let's say we want uh, to give our peeps blue faces for some reason. Maybe because we're going to make a smurf park. Well, then we just select this area. Let's make an adjustment. We can change the hue of, the, of this part. And we can change it to blue, for example. Now, when I do this, uh, in the game, all the objects and sprites that would normally uh, use this color will now change, will now use uh, one of these blue shades. You, you can also select the entire range and, uh, for example, change all the colors if you want. Uh, for example, let's make everything a little bit more bright. All right, now in this palette, everything will be a little bit more bright and the peeps will have blue faces. Now let's save this one, save as, and let's call it peep blue. Now it is best that the name you give it is a unique name and is different from any of the other objects that are in the object folder. All right, let's save it. Uh, it's important that you save it as a 24-bit uh, bitmap. So make sure your uh, editing software can do that. Well, all modern uh, image editing software should be able to do this. All right, let's save it. Uh, now we can close it. And now in the folder we see bblue.pmp. Now to turn this into an object, we need to use this batch file. Uh, I'll make a copy of the already existing batch file. And I'll call it RCT Pellmaker 2. It's just because I don't like to edit the already existing one. It's just to keep an example around. Anyway, let's edit it. First, I get a warning from Windows. Let's ignore it. And now, 
the editing software, which is in my case Notepad, will uh, open for the patch file. Now, to use this beep blue, we need to fill out that name in the in the file. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. It will be the name of the object file. This one should be uh, unique and not used by any other objects in your object folder. Now, we want it to use the bitmap file. And here, in this area, will be the what the object is called in the list. So let's call it Peeps with Blue Faces. All right, then we save it. Then we double click it to run it. And if it's successful, you will see this text. The file people that that was written, press enter to exit. All right. And then we can see here, deep blue that that. We copy it. And we go to our open rollercoaster tycoon 2 folder. We go to our object folder. And we paste it here, deep blue. All right, let's open up our tropical park again. And now we will select the new water type that we created. Water. And here you see it, peeps with blue faces. So you deselect the other one, you select this one. Now first it will revert to a normal color, so we have to do it again. And there we have it. The map turned a little bit more bright, and all the peeps have blue faces now. And as you can see in the interface, uh, some stuff changed as well. Also, uh, you can see that some other objects also used the uh, summon pink range. They have also uh, gotten a tint of uh, blue. So yeah, that's a side effect of this, uh, of uh, the changing the peep color. Because that range is used by different objects for more stuff that changes. So uh, take that into account when you make a new palette. Alright, um, I have some other uh, palettes that, uh, that show some stuff you can do. Uh, for example, uh, I have a nice one here, the black and white palette. Now, as you can see, the entire game uh, is in a black and white tint. You could, for example, use this to make a vintage park of sorts. Now, I'll end this video with a really crazy uh, palette that I made. Where is it? The inverted palette. Well, obviously, you wouldn't use this in any uh, normal park. But I'll show it anyway. There we go. Now, the park looks fully glitched out. But, of course, this is a good example of the crazy stuff you can do with palettes. Alright everyone, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And uh, I hope this will help you make your own uh, palettes for your maps. See you later.